Eiffel Tower is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Paris. This place is worth visiting not only because of incredible views but also due to great culinary experience you can have there. As a vegan you can definitely enjoy beautiful views but what about the gastronomy? In our video you will find out if an unforgettable vegan lunch or dinner on the Eiffel Tower is possible for you. Hello, my name is Gosha. My name is Pia. And my name is Ada. We are going to show you a complete vegan Eiffel Tower tour. If you want to visit an Eiffel Tower, there are not so many vegan places around. If you would like to go for lunch or dinner there, we found just one place which is about 15 minutes, 20 minutes walk from the Eiffel Tower. Uh, this is a complete vegan place and you can have food here many different soups, salads, burgers, lasagna. It's open only until 6 p.m. so if you want to go for dinner it has to be an early dinner. We will also show you some other options on the Eiffel Tower but it's not a complete vegan place so we don't know what will be there. The first impression of this place is very nice. It's a nice ambience here, very friendly service, easygoing music and a display that is made of red cabbage and beautiful plates, so it makes good impression. We just finished our early dinner and to be honest with you, I wouldn't recommend this place. I know it's the only one vegan restaurant close to the Eiffel Tower, however, I didn't really enjoy the food. My soup was too sour, I didn't feel any taste except the sour thing. Adam's lasagna was pretty bland without much flavor and the burger itself, it was quinoa burger, but also without any particular taste. I'm sorry, but this is not the place I could recommend you. But maybe you have different tastes, you can come and check on your own. As there are really not too many places around Eiffel Tower, so if you really need to go to eat something before or after the tour, just check it on your own. If you want to go to the Eiffel Tower, you can buy tickets directly it's online, and then you can go to the first on the second floor, there's an observation deck, or you can go to the top. There's an observation deck at the top of the Eiffel Tower, but the number of the tickets is very limited. It's quite easy to get tickets for the first, second floor, but to get the tickets for the top floor, for the last floor, it's extremely difficult. I was trying to buy these tickets directly for the Eiffel Tower on the website. I tried to do it at the day when they started selling tickets for this particular day now. It was about two months in advance and there was nothing. All the tickets were sold out. So then I found another option. You can buy tickets through Get Your Guide, a company that is selling tickets to different attractions in Paris and worldwide and you can buy tickets there. You pay more but then you have more chances to get the ticket and go to the top. So um, you have to pick up the tickets here in the office and then with your guide, with our guide, we will go to the Eiffel Tower. We are now at the second floor. You have a nice panoramic view from here and this is almost oh no, it's almost 9 p.m. and we still have nice sun to see so it's perfect time if you come for the sunset now it's very nice to see you can see all the parties from this and some people say it's even better than the top floor but we'll check it Eiffel Tower at the moment color beige a golden like over 100 years ago, original color, red. Hated by people and then repainted into yellow. At the moment, golden beige. This is the place 
where we had picnic earlier during the day. Sham de Mars. We are now at the top floor, so we have a really spectacular view from here. It's now it's an evening and you can see Paris lighted. It's like, wow, it makes a difference. I think it makes a difference between the second floor and the top floor. So if you have an opportunity to go to the top floor, I highly recommend it to you. Now we are at the top floor, so actually there are two floors here. One is inside, so everything is covered, and one is out, outside when you go a couple steps up. So here you can see the difference between the second floor and the top floor. It's spectacular view, really amazing. It's almost 300 meters. And you can see all Paris here, all the famous buildings. Wow, this is the view. Behind me, there's a small champagne bar, and the champagne here is vegan, so you can buy the, here a glass of champagne and enjoy a beautiful view on Paris. There is a normal champagne for 22 euro a glass, or rosé champagne, 25 euro a glass, and both are vegan. We are back on the second floor and we found one vegan thing, which is pretzel. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else vegan and of course champagne. So you can have pretzel and champagne and celebrate. Yes. We go now to Madame Brasserie for lunch. We have a reservation at 12 p.m. but we got an email to arrive 45 minutes earlier because there are two security control and there's long queue to the lift. If you go to the restaurant, Madame Brasserie, or the Michelin Star restaurant, it is also located here on the Eiffel Tower, first you have to pick up your tickets to the lift. The access by the lift is complimentary, it's included in your lunch or dinner, but you have to come here first, take the tickets, and with these tickets you can go to the lift. There are two categories of places here. You can sit just next to the window and then you will have a beautiful view on Paris. But you have to pay about 100 euro more per person to sit just next to the window. Or you can sit up inside the brasserie or on the other side by the window when you can have a view only on the inside of Eiffel Tower. And then these places are cheaper. Now we are here in the middle of the brasserie, so we do this cheaper category of places. But to be honest with you, surprisingly, these cheaper places are difficult to get. So usually there are very few places available if you book a couple days in advance in the inside of the brasserie. And there are always many places available just next to the window. It's not an a la carte restaurant. Here you have set many. So for lunch you have three courses, the starter, the main and the dessert. And you have two options, you can order menu with drinks or without drinks. If you order with drinks you will have wine, like with two, two glasses of wine, one glass of champagne and coffee, water included. And it costs 35 euro extra. Um, for vegans, we inform the staff that we are vegans and, then, and um, they will prepare a set menu for us as well. But there will be no choices because normally people have choices like two or three courses to choose from for the starter and for the main but for us it will be only one main one starter and one dessert but everything will be vegan i hope <laughs> it will be at least we have promised that everything will be vegan so let's see how will be our food i'm very surprised that this is a cold soup because i when i saw this dish i expected to have like a cream warm soup you know the normal soup 
but it's cold. Um, it's okay. It's not spectacular, nothing wow, but this is a brasserie. It's a very casual dining, even though maybe it looks a bit more upscale, but it's still casual dining. I'm happy, I'm happy that they have some vegan options. This is very important. And uh, the taste is very fresh, but um, nothing like wow. My first impression of the restaurant is very positive. It's, um, it's a very casual restaurant, uh, brasserie. Service is really, really good. Very friendly, very, very attentive so far. So first impression, really nice. For the main, we have green asparagus on a very soft, delicate artichoke cream. It was a simple dish, but very nicely presented. Very good taste of the of the asparagus. They were perfectly done. Not too soft, not too hard. Um, I love this taste. This delicate, subtle taste of artichoke. So it was a really nice main dish. Honestly, I wouldn't expect to have a vegan lemon meringue in this place here. I would expect sorbet <laughs> or fruit salad, but the chef surprised us with vegan lemon meringue and they made this cream, this white cream. So it's not a traditional tart, like lemon meringue tart, but it's a very nice, surprising vegan dessert. In general, we are very happy with our lunch. The food was very good. Well, the food was very decent. I like especially the main and the dessert. It was creative and I would expect this type of dishes here in the brasserie. Especially if I know that the menu here is very limited. There's only set menu offered to all guests. And for us, the chef prepared something extra because we informed in advance that we are vegans. So the chef prepared extra dishes for us. And um, I was very happy with this, uh, this choice. Um, the food was good. The service was very nice, very friendly, attentive. So I think it's a good place for lunch for vegans. In order to get to this restaurant, you have to get to Eiffel Tower. And in order to get to Eiffel Tower, you have to go through a number of different queues, a number of different security gates and there's a lot of waiting time here and there and you have to pick up your ticket here and you have to go there so it's a hassle so um, if you decide to come here get ready for this 45 minutes process to be earlier to to go through